Hi folks, I've got some big news today. I've spent the last few months thinking long and hard and speaking with folks from every corner of this Commonwealth, from Southwest Virginia to Nova and Central Virginia to right here in Hampton Roads about running for Attorney General. The decision we're making today is generations in the making. Five generations ago, my ancestors were freed from the shackles of slavery. Just two generations ago, my grandfather endured systematic racism and discrimination on his journey to becoming one of the few black lawyers in Virginia. And in 1960, my father and my uncle were two of the first black students to attend an all-white school in Norfolk, Virginia. Clearly, progress has come, but not quick enough. We've become more equitable, but not enough. Even as a young black man in today's world, which my forebears had hoped to be one of equality, I cannot stand here and say that my experience has been markedly different than the generations before me. The hurt, the anguish, the pain remains all the same. It is time for a Virginia that embraces everyone, lifts everyone, no matter who you are, where you come from, or what you look like. In the General Assembly, I fought to expand access to health care by supporting Medicaid expansion. And as your next Attorney General, I'll lead the fight against attempts to repeal the Affordable Care Act and take away access to affordable health insurance for Virginians who have pre-existing conditions. We need an Attorney General who will fight for every single Virginian, who protects our consumers, stands up for all of our rights, and who will lead us into the next decade by lifting every single one of us up. So I'm going to spend it every day between now and Tuesday, November 2nd, 2021, working to earn your vote and telling you why I believe I'm the best candidate to usher in a new generation of action and leadership to the Attorney General's office. Thank you so much.